Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another PS5 jailbreak tutorial. So the YouTube jailbreak auto loader has been updated to a new version that now includes an updater, which can allow you to easily update to any new versions that come out by copying the update file to a USB drive. And then when you run the YouTube application, it will extract that update to the exploit files on the internal storage so that it will update the exploits to the latest version. Not only that, but we've also had a new version of the regular YouTube jailbreak project 1.2.1, which now adds an embedded YouTube update blocker to try and help prevent people running into the update loop when launching the YouTube application where you can run into this message. So in this video, I'll show you guys how to get that update blocker installed, as well as update to the latest version of the auto loader for the YouTube jailbreak whether you are still using an older version of the auto loader, because unfortunately version 0.1 did not include the updater. So to update to a version that has the updater, you have to do it manually. But then once you're updated to version 0.2.1 or a higher version, you'll then be able to update in future using the new updater. And if you're still using the original YouTube jailbreak project where you have to send the payloads manually, this will also show you how to get switched over to the auto loader to automatically load the payloads. So let's go ahead and get straight into it, shall we? So the idea here is to do this completely offline. So if you're trying to prevent that update message, you can see I'm not connected to the internet here on the PS5. The best way to do that without connecting to the internet is to use a piece of homebrew called PS5 Explorer, which can allow you to copy files to the PS5 file system locally without a network connection. So we can download this from pkg-zone.com on your computer, download for PS5. We also want to, of course, go to the latest version of the YouTube jailbreak auto loader and download the download.dat file and also the y2jailbreakupdate.zip for the latest version. Then, of course, we also want to install the YouTube jailbreak embedded YouTube update blocker. So we're also going to download the YouTube jailbreak download zero from this project as well for version 1.2.1 or higher. And that is everything that we need to download here. So the next thing we need to do is grab ourselves a USB drive, right click on it and go to properties and make sure that the file system is XFAT or FAT32 and copy the PS5 Explorer application, the package file to the root of that USB drive and simply plug it in to your PS5. So on your PS5, you're gonna to want to load the ETA hen payload on your PS5. So you can do that by, of course, just loading up the YouTube jailbreak. If you already have the older version of the auto loader that is set to automatically load that payload, like I do, then you can just launch the YouTube application. Of course, if you're using the older version where you have to send the payloads over the network, then just send the payloads over the network with Netcat GUI until you get ETA Hen loaded. Once you have the ETA Hen payload running, we can go into the settings, scroll down to our ETA Hen toolbox, and go to the package installer and install that application that we put on the USB drive. So once it's installed, we're just going to load it from the game section and give it a few seconds to load up and select root access. So the first thing we wanna do is install the embedded YouTube update blocker, which we can do by scrolling down to system data folder, go into that folder first, and then scroll down to the priv folder, P-R-I-V, and then scroll down to the MMS folder and look for a file called appinfo.db. Press the triangle button once you are hovered over it and then go to send to MNT USB 0 or 1, whichever one is highlighted, which is your USB drive. And once that's copied to the USB, we can then unplug that USB drive and plug it back into our computer. Okay, so if we go back onto the USB drive, we can see we have the app info database file there. We're going to open up the YouTube jailbreak downloader for version 1.2.1 or higher. And this version should contain an app info underscore editor dot py. We're going to copy that into the same location as our app info database file. We want to right click in this folder and open in terminal. And we want to type in Python. So you need to have Python installed for this app info underscore editor dot py and then press enter. And that should apply the embedded updater to the database file. So once that's done, we can close out of the terminal. We'll now have an original file, which is a backup of our original database file. In case this one gets corrupted, you can always replace it with the original file again to fix it. 
but it should be fine. So we have our updated version here. So now that we're finished with the Python file, we can remove it from the USB drive and copy our download 0.dat file to the root of the USB. And we can also open up the y 2 jailbreak update.zip and extract the PS5 autoloader folder also to the root of the USB drive now. And we want to edit this so it can load whatever payload we want. So if we open up this folder, we can delete the FTP payload that it automatically loads, get rid of that and replace that with whatever payload you want to load. So I'm using a test build of ETA hen. So I'm going to copy that ETA hen.l file into that folder and then edit the autoload.txt file and copy the name of ETA hen.elf and paste it into that autoload.txt file, overriding the FTP payload that's in there already and save that file. Okay, so we have quite a lot of files to copy over here. So if we press left on the D-pad, that will go to USB 0, which should be your USB drive. Either that or it will be right on the D-pad. And then we're going to highlight appinfo.db, press triangle over it and select the option to copy it. Then press R3, so right stick to go back to the root directory and then go back to system data and go back to priv MMS, where the original database file is located. And then press triangle and paste our modified one on top and say yes to overwrite and that will get that installed. Then if we do left on the d-pad to go back once again to the USB drive, this time we're going to take download 0.dat file and press triangle and copy it and then press R3 again to go back to the root directory and scroll down to the user folder which is way down near the bottom. So user folder and then go to the download folder and then PPSA 01650, press triangle in this folder and again paste in our updated version and say yes to overwrite. This one will take a while to copy over because it's quite a large file. Okay and the final piece of the puzzle is to press left on the d-pad again, go back to your USB and this time select the PS5 autoloader folder, press triangle, copy it and again R3 to go back to the root directory, go to the data folder and press triangle and paste it into the data folder. And that way the autoloader will just load the payload from here in future. So now we can go ahead and exit out of PS5 Explorer. I'll reboot my console so I'm no longer running the jailbreak. Okay, so logged back into my PS5, now I'm no longer running the jailbreak. So now when I go to reload the YouTube application, we can see it is now running the updated version of the autoloader, version 0.2.1 by PLK. So it is now running the latest version. And it will also load my ETA hen payload that is installed to the data folder on the hard drive. So that is how you get it updated manually. So what I want to do now is show you how to use the updater because now that you have a version that includes the updater installed, any new versions that come out for the auto loader, you can do so using this updater that is now built in. So if we switch back over to our computer, we have our USB drive. We can delete all of the stuff that's in there now. So whenever there's a new version that comes out of the auto loader, you can just go to the latest release and download the update.zip file for it, which of course we have downloaded here. And then you can just copy it to the root of your USB drive. It's that simple. It really is that easy. So now all you need to do is plug in that USB drive and launch the YouTube application and it will update to the latest version using this. There we go, autoloader is running. And as you can see, we get an update starting Y2 jailbreak update. It detects the update size and it starts extracting all of the files as we can see or is extracting the files rather. There we go. So verify update all OK. I mean, these debug messages do go through quite quickly, so it's hard to see them all. But as you can see, that has worked. It's now loading version 2.4b of ETA hen. So we have successfully updated the files. That means we no longer need the USB drive plugged in. It actually deletes the update file off the USB once it's done. So now whenever you run the YouTube application again, without the USB drive plugged in, it will be running that updated version that you installed. So that is the general idea. So again, already some pretty big improvements there to the auto loader with the YouTube jailbreak. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.